Hey, this is Toby. Today, I just want to give you an update on some of my strategies running in real money accounts here on my server. So we just take a look at different strategies and the latest performance. Let's go. Okay, so I already did a video about these strategies a few weeks ago here on my channel. I will link it up here. Um, but I just want to give you an update on the latest performance in this video. So as you can see, this is one of my VPS servers and here I'm running two live accounts. And the first account, I have two active strategies. So the first strategy is a very simple breakout strategy on the Euro Japanese Yen. And as you can see, it's in a drawdown right now, but I'm completely chill and fine with that because I have a equity stop loss for each strategy and also a time-based drawdown stop loss. So if the strategy will not perform in the future, um, the EA will just turn it off. Okay, and the next strategy here on this account, is also a very simple breakout strategy on the US dollar Japanese yen. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the performance of the strategy also in the recent uh, days and weeks here. And by the way, we already did a tutorial on coding this strategy here on the channel. So if you are interested in coding MQL5, you can pretty much uh, build this strategy for yourself. So I will link the first part of this mini coding series up here uh, so you can check it out. Okay, so let's switch to the second account here. Um, here I have like five active strategies running. So the first one here is a simple strategy in the British pound US dollar. And this strategy is also kind of a breakout strategy, but it does exactly the opposite. So we already did a video about this exact strategy, about the logic here on the channel. I will link it up here so you can check it out. So last time I showed you the performance of the strategy. We were in a drawdown down here somewhere. And as you can see, just the recent weeks or days, uh, we recovered and we did make a new equity high. So this just tells you once you let a strategy run on the live market, you should have strict rules to exit the strategy if it's not performing. But other than that, you don't intervene into a strategy. Because down here I said I'm comfortable with the strategy and I know the historical performance. So I will just let it run until the EA will turn it off. And as you can see now here, we did a new equity high just uh, a few days ago. And this might be also the first valuable lesson you can take out of this video. Because I don't just want to make videos about the performance of my strategies. I think these videos have a lot of value. If you just take some notes about um, tips and rules I say in this video. And the first lesson might be to have strict exit rules for your strategies. At the moment you put them on the live market. And you don't intervene into your strategies or change them, the inputs or stop the strategy until these, these levels you set at the beginning here are reached. And also this strategy shows you why I think it's very important to develop your own strategies. Um, so you just have the trust and you know the historical performance of your strategies. Because I would say 9 of 10 traders would have stopped the strategy down here or uh, down here. And of course this would be a losing strategy for them. But since I know the historical performance and the stability of the strategy, I let the strategy run. And I'm very excited uh, to see how the strategy will perform in the future. Okay, so but now let's take a look at the next strategy here. It's also a very simple breakout strategy on the US dollar Japanese yen. It's pretty similar to the first version on the first account, but of course has, has a little bit different uh, components. Um, yeah, as you can see in the recent days, also very great performance because we have we had a lot of movement and of course movement and big moves are great for breakout strategies. But here again, I would bet that most of you would have stopped the strategy down here because you trade a strategy for half a year and here with the drawdown you are losing all your profit you made um, previously and then 9 out of 10 traders would stop the strategy here. But I know the exit levels, I know the historical performance, I let the strategy run until these exit levels are reached and this gives the strategy the chance to um, have performance phases like this one here. And now you can see we are up here, new equity high, um, everything looks fine. 
And by the way, if you think this video is valuable for you, it would be awesome if you just leave a like so more people can see it. Okay, but now let's take a look at the next strategies. So this one here is a mean reversion strategy. Um, it just has a few trades, so it's in profit right now, of course, but these trades are just not enough to judge a strategy if it's working or not. So I will just let it run, of course. The next strategy, the same thing, just a few trades here. Um, but of course I have my exit level for each strategy and I will just let them run or the EA will just trade them until the strategy will get stopped out or we are making new equity highs. Okay, but now let's take a look at the last strategy here. So this is a simple mean reversion strategy. And of course we can see the equity looks very nice, but I would like to see more trades for the strategy because these kind of mean reversion strategies, they have a lot of small winning trades and then also big losing trades. So I would like to see more trades in order to judge if the strategy is really working or not. But of course for now it's looking very nice and I'm excited to see the future performance. Okay, so these are all the strategies I'm currently trading on this uh, VPS server, all of course with real money. As you may have noticed, all the strategies are running with the master EA. So the master EA can trade multiple strategies and I'm also using the master EA to develop my strategies. But at the moment of this video, I'm not setting the master EA anymore on my website. This might change in the future and if it does, of course, I will let you know here on the YouTube channel. And so you can subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Okay, but of course you can trade any of these strategies with other EAs or you can create your own EAs too. Okay, but now let's take a look at the overall performance of these two accounts here. So we can see the blue equity line here. This is the performance of all um, strategies together. And we can also of course display here um, the equity curve for each strategy. And maybe we take a look only at the performance here of the current year. So we just filter the performance here, update. And yeah, that's basically the performance of these two accounts here, real money accounts. And if you want to know how to develop your own strategies, profitable strategies, stable strategies, um, I already have a playlist here on the channel about the strategy development process up here. So you can check it out. If you have any questions about automated trading in general, MQL5 programming, um, broker, server, you can just write me through my website or via Telegram. And also if you have questions about this video here or you have some tips for me to improve my videos, you can always leave a comment. And I will see you in one of the next videos. Um, good trades. Bye.